My name is Taylor Alba. Uh, I'm the marketing director with Wickham Tractor Company in Colorado. Um, our headquarters, if you will, is in Fort Morgan, Colorado, but we have four other stores in Sterling, Fort Collins, Greeley, and Longmont, Colorado as well. So I have a breadth of duties. So I do everything from social media management to, um, I guess, web, uh, working with our website team, um, our vendor, uh, to construct a new website. Uh, so I'll be doing SEO with them. Um, I also will be doing the recruitment uh, for new employees, specifically techs at this point in time, since that's an incredibly difficult position to fill. Um, and they need someone specialized within that to do. Um, I'll also be doing internal marketing strategies, so working with our current employee team to get them trained, specifically in customer um, experience, um, and just having an overall brand presence when people walk in the door. Uh, so right now, those are kind of my big action items and duties uh, with Wickham Tractor. Right, so first step for me, um, getting into this new job was cleaning up our website. So um, right now our website is largely outdated um, and not optimized for our current digital world. Uh, so that before I start with any other digital tactics, um, getting that cleaned up and ready for the consumer is my main priority. Um, and then once I have that up and ready to go and optimize for um, our customers, then I can start um, pushing you know, the digital tactics that I've learned about over the years, um, as well as what's been discussed today on uh, PPC ad placements and uh, YouTube and, you know, all sorts of uh, strategies to get people to our website to eventually lead them to the door. Uh, so that's, that's kind of what's next. Um, big strategy right now is uh, dividing up our customer segments. Uh, so we have a very diverse customer base. Uh, so we do a lot of big ag in our original two stores. Um, and then when we bought out uh, b and equipment in Colorado, that was in Fort Collins, Greeley, and Longmont. Uh, that's more uh, kind of small, compact tractors, hobby farms. Uh, so it, it's a whole different ball game and a whole different type of customer than we're used to working with. Uh, so being able to identify, you know, why are they coming in, uh, what they use, the equipment they're, you know, using, what are they using it for, um, and then how to best target them uh, in their buyer's journey. So at this point, um, I'm in the very <laughs> beta stages. So I've been interviewing um, some of our senior employees, um, people who have been in those areas for a long period of time. Um, hopefully, my next step is to do more customer research, um, so I'm exploring options of doing customer surveys or testimonials to kind of see, you know, what has been our value to them in the past um, and where they plan on having the relationship with us in the future. In terms of where my next, I would say two strategies are going to lie, um, Google is probably my number one, so getting uh, something, a well-oiled machine there in terms of keywording with our PPC ads. Uh, so when people are Google searching for uh, power sports in Colorado, since we carry those lines, or compact tractors in Colorado, we are at the forefront um, of their decision making uh, because we are one of those top results. So that's my first uh, kind of external strategy. And then my internal strategy is going to be streamlining our lead generation process uh, because with a new website and hopefully with my campaigns we'll have an influx of leads coming in uh, and right now our sales people are not necessarily used to that um, they're used to that coming from the OEMs so people go to say the Kubota home website uh, and they find a dealer and then they put in their information then Kubota sends those leads over to us. So us generating those organically through ourselves will be a whole new process for them. Uh, so creating a process that's going to be uh, efficient um, and work for me with uh, uh, marketing qualified leads and them from the sales side uh, is incredibly important uh, for I think the future of the company. You know, definitely my first two months, I was joking in one of the earlier sessions that it's going to make me go gray early. <laughs> it's, it, it's so much information. And for someone who has a little bit of an ag background, but not so much, it's you're learning this brand new industry that is incredibly complex, especially in Colorado because there's so many facets to it. 
Uh, plus you're stepping into this brand new role uh, that really nobody has filled before and trying to establish something that's going to be a good foundation for the future um, is an incredible feat. <laughs> Um, it's, it's definitely a big job that's ahead of me, uh, which is a good thing for a young professional, uh, but also a bit of a daunting task. You know, I, I think um, what success looks like, you know, I think there's a balance to it. So you always have to be hungry. So I don't think good will ever be good enough for me. Uh, but also success is not only having more people walk through our door, and want to do business with us, but I think um, on a bigger scale, I want people to be satisfied with the quality of service that we're providing them, both from a before market um, and after market side of things. So, um, you know, that that to me, walk in, seeing people walk in and have a positive experience and walk out knowing that we provided them, you know, the best possible service we could, that that is the ultimate success, um, and that's the ultimate goal. Uh, for not only Wickham Tractor, but I think everyone in our industry. I personally really enjoyed this conference. Um, I've been to a couple conferences in the past and it just kind of felt like it existed for vendors to sell to you all the products that they have. And I get that on you know a day-to-day -day basis, five calls a day it seems like <laughs> from uh, people trying to push uh, all sorts of marketing products to you. So I think, you know, the, the quality of the presentations was great in the first place, but I think outside of that, being able to talk to people on different sides of the industry was so valuable. Um, I met people who are in very similar situations uh, to me, and we can kind of talk about, oh, you know, you're experiencing this too, you know, thank goodness I'm not the only one. And then there are people um, like some of our presenters who have this well-oiled machine that what they have been doing has been working for them and they're comparable um, dealers to us. So being able to kind of take that and take it home and apply that to us, I think is more valuable than any anything here. So.